Welcome to Endoscopy on Air 2020. Watch George Webster in managing a difficult indeterminate biliary stricture. This is a 41-year-old uh, uh, lady who presented uh, with uh, obstructive jaundice several weeks ago. She had cross-sectional imaging, including CT and uh, MRCP at her referring hospital. This demonstrated stones in her gallbladder, but an apparent stricture of the mid uh, bile duct. Um, she had an ERCP, which defined this stricture. Brushings were negative. Uh, she has been referred to us today for a spyglass cholangioscopy uh, to exclude the cause of this stricture with an obvious concern as to whether this uh, may be a malignant stricture or possibly whether it may relate to her stone disease. Before we start, um, I would just say a couple more words about um, a duodenoscope infection. We've learned that the particular area of concern uh, relates to uh, the bridge of the duodenoscope, um, which is very difficult to clean underneath. And so this Pentax deck duodenoscope uh, is a very clever innovation whereby the bridge is incorporated into the cap of the duodenoscope. And this makes it much easier uh, to clean and process uh, the reusable tip and the reusable endoscope. So as you see, we've certainly seen a stricture there on that view. And we now wish to define that further. We're just up in the, in the bile duct and you can see this lesion. And um, uh, we would be, this is, an in, this is a nodule in the bile duct. Um, we at first sight would have a lot of concern that this in fact is a malignant stricture. I would, uh, we look for nodularity, we look for new vessel formation. Um, not seeing a lot of that, but certainly this is very concerning. But can I just suggest to you that the mucosa at the bottom of this nodule here um, looks relatively normal, which is interesting. And then there's something even more interesting. When I go past this nodule, we come across a very large stone which is sitting in the origin of the cystic duct. So in fact, this uh, cholangioscopy spyglass in this situation is incredibly useful and will define this patient's management. There's an interesting point, and we've, we've uh, been studying this as the European cholangioscopy group, um, as to the interpretation of the mucosal change that we see here on the left of the stone. One could very, very easily label that as villous change of uh, perhaps malignant change. Uh, but in this setting, my interpretation is that all of the changes are likely to be due to this stone impacted here. I'm just gonna go up and pass the stone. We can see normal we're up in the common hepatic duct here. Uh, if this was a tumor, this would be very important information for the surgeons because we would be able to say to them that there is normal mucosa for a significant length of the common hepatic duct before the liver hilum. And this is crucial because this may mean the difference between a local biliary resection or um, a liver resection. Uh, but nevertheless, and we can see we're coming into the stricture, and there is this stone. Um, I'm actually going to start treating this stone, which is what the patient needs. Sorry, let me just concentrate one second on this. Okay, yeah, yeah. So we're just on the stone here. A hard stone, this. Uh, 
So this stone has broken up nicely here. That's nice. Um, there is no doubt that the ability to visualize a lesion is much more likely to lead to um, a uh, definitive diagnosis. Um, the spy bite biopsies, there's recently been improvement in them with the introduction of the spy bite max, um, which uh, is providing us with larger tissue samples than with the traditional spy bite. And I think that the size of the tissue sample, as well as the ability to target, is going to be very Im important as we move forward. I will take um, some spy bite max biopsies here, but um, my prediction is that they are very, very unlikely uh, to show malignancy and that this is very unlikely to be a malignant stricture. So I'm going to be working on this for a little longer to clear this stone. Uh, I think that we've perhaps shown uh, uh, interesting features here uh, and why uh, differentiating benign from uh, malignant strictures based on cholangioscopic features alone can be quite difficult. Histology showed inflammation and the patient was referred for laparoscopic cholecystectomy. Here you see the instruments and devices used in this case. And finally, this is George Webster's recommended reading.